Virtual scrolling is a really cool technique to increase the performance of your application. Hi, my name is Stephen Fluin, and on this Demos with Angular snippet, I'm going to walk through creating a virtual scroll capability within your application using Angular version 7 and Angular Material. To kick off our virtual scrolling setup, I'm going to ng new a application with version 7 of Angular, and then I'm going to run ng add at Angular slash material. And this will go ahead and install Angular Material, and then it will prompt me for several options. What theme do I want? Do I want gestures? Do I want browser animations? I, I just took the default for all of these options. And now if we take a look in the browser, we should be able to see on localhost 4200, we have our default application up and running. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a list of items without virtual scroll. So if we jump into an editor here, so let's go ahead and make an editor for this project. So you'll see this is just a default Angular app with Angular material added to it. And we'll go ahead and we're going to blow away all of the content in our app component.html. And then in my TypeScript here, I'm going to go ahead and create a list. So let's just create a list of numbers. So this is going to be an array of numbers. And then in my constructor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is for let i equals zero, i is less than maybe 10,000, i plus plus. And I'm going to say numbers.push i. All right. And if we auto format, this should clean it up. All right. Never trust the auto formatter. All right. So if we take these numbers, what I can do now is I can render those to the screen. So let's go ahead and do that with a default ng4 let number of numbers. And now let's apply some styles to this. So first I want to have a container. And then I'll make this container maybe wrap around the other div. And now let's give this a size. So let's say this is maybe width of 300 pixels, height 150 pixels. And now let's go ahead and give it a border of maybe three pixels solid green, just to make it really visible what's going on here. Uh, we might also have to make this display inline block to make sure the width is showing up on our screen. So we have an app component here. We have a template with some numbers, and this should be rendering. All right, so we have a list. And if we want to actually show in the box what number it is, we can say number. And we could do something to make it a little bit better. So maybe instead of just inline block, it's uh, inline flex. And we'll say justify content center and align items center. And now we should see numbers in the middle of our boxes. Perfect. We'll kill mobile emulation just for the moment. So we've got a nice little vertical thing here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add virtual scroll. So I'm just going to put width back to 100% here. All right, so we've got a bunch of boxes, but obviously all of these are being loaded in the DOM. So the DOM has to render a lot of different data in order to um, even just visualize one tiny bit of this list. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our app module, and we're going to load the uh, scrolling module from Angular material or from the CDK. So let's go ahead and import scrolling module from at Angular slash CDK slash scrolling. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and import this module. And that will give us the directives and components that we need to actually build our virtual scroll. So I'm going to convert this CDK or this div into a CDK virtual scroll viewport. And I'm going to say that our item size is 150 pixels, uh, which is the one that we set right here, just so that we can know how to do all of the math for our virtual scrolling. And then we'll just close out this virtual scroll viewport. And then I'm going to swap out this div. Um, the ng4 in this div for something called a CDK virtual four, which basically has the exact same API as an ng4, but instead of needing to um, iterate and render it all at once, this is where our virtual magic comes into play. So the last thing that we're going to need here uh, is for a virtual scroll viewport to actually have a height. So let's give it a height of maybe 500 pixels. And what that will do is that will ensure that we're actually knowing how much to render at any given time. So if we take a look back at our page. Now we have our viewport, which is about 500 pixels. And if we look at the DOM under the hood here, we're going to see 
only a subset of the numbers are rendered at any time, so it makes it really fast, really easy to scroll through. And it doesn't matter how complex that DOM is, doesn't matter how much uh, actually needs to go on within those components or within those elements that we're rendering. It's just going to load only the parts that we're rendering plus a little bit of buffer, and I have complete control of that. So virtual scrolling is really easy. Again, you just swap out the container for a CDK virtual scroll viewport, and you swap out that ng4 for a CDK virtual 4. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.